uh, for whatever reason, I thought this was an Instagram video. I was holding the button. Um, so I had this revelation. Um, I was studying the story of David, and I think we know that story. We're familiar with David as he's getting ready to go and fight Goliath, but in 1 Samuel, I believe it's chapter 17, David, as a little boy, as, as a teenager, is promised that he's going to possess the kingdom. Uh, he's going to be the next ruling king of Israel. And so the Bible says that instead of him immediately going to live and work in the kingdom, in the palace that he's going to soon occupy, um, the Bible says he goes back to his daddy's house and continues working in the sheep pen. Now, the reason that's that's interesting and that kind of strikes out at me is because I think that many many of us get promises from God and we move a little too early, right? We think that immediately we're supposed to stop working once God makes us a promise. But I think that David gave us a very clear insight on how we should act while we are moving into our promise. You just keep on working. David kept working at, in the sheep pen with the dirty, nasty, stinky, funky sheep. He didn't stop just because the promise came. So what does that mean for us? When God gives you an inclination or inkling of what he's about to do in your life, you don't put your hands down from the work because the work is initially what got you to the promise anyway. It's God seeing your faithfulness in the work and him saying, okay, you're ready for the promise. Keep working. Don't stop just because God gave you a promise. You got to keep working at it. Keep working. All right. 90 seconds. Uh, rule of thumb. Get out of here.